This is second grade into math module 22 lesson four. Show and describe an equal share. I can draw and color to show a half of, a third of, or a fourth of a shape. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 556. We will start under build understanding. Ethan orders two pizzas with peppers and olives on both pizzas. How can you draw and color Ethan's pizzas? All right, let's take a look at part A. <clears throat> draw to show thirds. Color a third of the pizza green to show the peppers. So let's take a look at the connective vocabulary to make sure we have all the information to help solve this um, part A. When we look at this circle, we notice that it is cut into halves, two equal shares. But we do notice that one of them is colored in here. A half of the circle is blue. So one half, a half, is colored blue here. Now let's look at the next part. We have three equal shares here, or thirds, and a third of the rectangle is blue. So a one, is filled in with blue. Now let's take a look at uh, the next part. We have four equal shares and only one of them is colored in blue. A fourth of the square is blue. You can also say that a quarter of the square is blue. So this information may help us as we go back to our um, problem here, which asks us to draw to show thirds and then color just a third of the pizza green to show the peppers. So first step we're going to do is draw a circle. We're gonna draw a circle for the pizza. Then we need to show thirds. So we're going to make that upside down Y. So we're gonna make that line, we're gonna make a line that meets it, make a line that meets it. So now we have three equal parts. We have one, two, three, and then the next information asks us to color a third of the pizza green. So we're going to need to um, color in one of these thirds green to show those peppers on Ethan's pizza. So you can do that, and if for some reason you don't have a green, that's okay. You can just shade it in with your pencil, just like I'm doing right here. Okay, great. So we have accomplished drawing thirds and coloring a third of the pizza green. Great job. Now let's look at part B. Draw to show fourths. Color a fourth of the pizza black to show the olives. Okay, so we know fourths is four equal parts. So we're going to first start by drawing that pizza again. And this time they're asking us to show fourths. So we're going to make one line from the top to the bottom and one line directly across. And now we have fourths, one, two, three, four. And it tells us that we need to color a fourth of the pizza black. So we are going to um, to pick one of these sections. I'm gonna pick this one, and I'm gonna color this whole section black. Again, you can do this with your pencil if you don't have a black crayon marker, or um, you can just use your pencil. And this will show a fourth of the pizza to show the olive. So one of these fourths we colored black. Nice work. Okay, we're ready to look at page 557. We're gonna start at the top here that asks us to draw to show halves. Then it asks us to color a half of the shape. So first step, we're going to go ahead and cut or draw a line to show halves. And then once we show halves on the shape, we need to color a half. How many? Just one, a half. So you can pick a different color, you can um, use your pencil, but you're only going to color one of the halves just like this. So if you'd like to pause and try the circle and the rectangle on your own, you may do so and come back to check your answer or just keep following along with me. So I'm gonna cut the circle in half and then I'm going to 
go ahead and color in one of the halves. I'm not gonna color both, I'm only coloring in one. Now I have colored in one half. Great, now I'm ready for the next shape. I'm gonna go right to the middle and go straight across, making that half, and then I'm going to fill in one of the halves. And this time I chose the half that was on the bottom. The other times I chose the half that was on the top, but either way is fine. Whichever one you choose, we're only filling in one. All right, we have drawn halves and we've colored a half of the shape. We're ready for the next part. The next part asks us to draw to show thirds and then color a third of the shape. All right, if you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so, or just follow along with me. I'm going to look at the middle of where this is, and I'm gonna go just a little bit above the middle and a little bit below the middle to help me make thirds. Now, I'm going to only color a third of the shape. So I'm gonna pick the color green, and I'm gonna color the middle. I'm only coloring in one share of the third. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. The next one is a square. So I'm going to again uh, go to the middle and just go over just a little bit. And then on the other side, go over just a little bit. And now I have three equal shares. And I'm going to color in one of those shares. So here I have one of the thirds. Okay, and then now we're going to look at the circle. And remember, I make that upside down Y. It's a straight line over and over. And then I'm going to pick one of these to color in. So I'll pick this one here and I'll color in one third of the shape. Nice work. All right, let's take a look at the last part here. Draw to show fourths color a fourth of the shape. Okay, so again, you can pause and try this part on your own if you'd like, or follow along with me. I'm gonna first start by cutting this circle into fourths. Then I'm going to pick one color, and I'm going to color in one of the fourths. I'm gonna pick yellow this time. Okay, so I have completed the circle. Now I'm going to go over to my rectangle. And I love fourths because I can go right to the middle first and I make that line and then I just make another middle line here in that first section and then I make another middle line right here in the second section. So now I have one, two, three, four equal parts and I'm going to color in only one of the four. So I'm gonna pick this one you can pick which one you like. Okay, and then the square, I'm going to go straight across and up and down in the middle. And now I have four equal shares and I'm gonna color in this top one as one fourth of the shape. Great work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 558. It asks us to draw to show quarters. Hmm, what does that word quarters mean again? Let's take a look at the connective vocabulary. Okay, so the vocabulary reminds us that when you have one, two, three, four, those are fourths, and when you shade in one of these, you would say a fourth of the square is blue. You can also say that a quarter of the square is blue because there are four um, shares and one of them is shaded. So when you have one shaded out of the four, that's the same thing as saying it's a quarter of. Okay, so let's go back to draw to show quarters. So all of these shapes are going to be in fourths. And then we're going to color a quarter of the shape. So let's start by first the circle. We're going to make this into fourths and then we're going to color in just a quarter or one of the four. 
Now we have made a quarter of the shape green. If you would like to pause and try the other two shapes and then come back to check your answer, you may do so or just follow along with me. So I'm going to first cut this rectangle into quarters and then I am going to pick one to color in because I was asked to color a quarter of the shape. So now I have colored in a quarter of the rectangle. The last part is the square and I'm going to draw a line across and a line from the top in the middle and then I'm going to only pick one to color in. So I'm gonna pick one to color in. Maybe you pick a different one, it doesn't have to be mine. And now we have colored in a quarter of the square. Let's take a look at check understanding. Part one asks us to circle the sentence that describes the green share of the rectangle. So if you would like to pause and try this on your own and come back, you may do so or follow along with me. Okay, I'm noticing that there are one, two, three shares and only one third of the shape is colored in. So, hmm, this one says a half of the rectangle is green. That's not correct. A third of the rectangle is green. That is correct. One of the three is uh, green, so we can circle that. And then let's take a look at the last part. A fourth of the rectangle is green. No, there. this is not in four um, pieces. So we have circled a third of the rectangle is green, the correct statement that describes the green share of the rectangle. Let's look at part two. What is another way to say a quarter of the rectangle is green? How can we say that in another way? Another way to say that is a fourth of the rectangle is green. Nice work today. If you would like to go back and watch this video, you may do so, and you can pause along the way anytime as needed.